Hi everybody, this is Elizabeth once again. I had heard of the movie Summersby, but I had never seen it for myself. And I've always loved Richard Gere and Jodie Foster, but I had never seen the two together. But from the moment that we're introduced to his character and hers, you can tell that there is a scintillating, just crackling romance between them i mean it is so obvious and i don't think they faked that i honestly don't think the two faked it when they were filming this movie but everything about it is a master class and how to tell a story you've got your main characters you've got it happening after the civil war um mr summersby or who we think to be is mr summersby is a rebel coming home and of course not really like in the north at all but i guess the north one but it's just it's such a interesting film and the main summer speed theme is actually used quite a bit and the commercials they have are national parks i thought i know that theme and at first i thought it was john williams that did the the theme but i was wrong it was elfman i thought of course it's elfman i should know elfman style over um, williams any day because elfman has his own distinctive style and how he composes things and it was very Elfman-esque. So <clears throat> that would be my, that was actually my second choice as far as composers were, were concerned. So I was kind of right, but not. Um, I thought everything that was depicted was absolutely incredible. It's, it's a tragic film, but it's, um, it tells a cautionary tale for the viewer, but it's a bittersweet end for um, Laurel, Jodie Foster's character. And I think it got a lot of awards, and rightly so, because if you want to know how to direct a movie and compel someone, captivate them from the beginning, this is how you do it. And in the beginning, we're not given any dialogue. At first, we're just given motions and gestures and interactions between characters without dialogue. And you can even do that, but it's just, it's just a masterpiece. It's a master class in how to do all these things. And I love the angles that uh, the camera person uses. And of course, Richard Gere actually produced it himself. So yeah, and he has experience and it was spectacular. And although the ending was very sad and I cried like a baby, I really did. I cried um, hard <laughs> actually, but... As far as the movie's concerned, two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down, no betching, no complaining, nothing, there's nothing in this movie that led to any kind of lull or dullness or any kind of lag in how things segued. And I also was very interested in, and intrigued that um, James Earl Jones was in this as a judge and is a, I mean, per, I'm sure I would have loved for him to be a, a judge character just because he has that really commanding deep voice of his and I thought you know it gives me chills I, I just love him he's one of my favorite actors so seeing him it's like James is this I just like a fan fangirl about James and, and uh, Richard and Jody and oh uh, this this movie is is just so well done it's absolutely fantastic but it's heartbreaking at the end and Yes, justice is is met out, and it's it's sad. However, there is ray of hope, and there was a scene in it, and it just you can feel the emotion and the, the exhilaration, and it gives me goose pimples just to think of it. But I'm not gonna say what it is because I'll ruin the surprise if you haven't seen it, and if you haven't seen it, see it now because if you want to, um, <clears throat> if you want to learn how to really draw an audience keep them engaged and and keep them wanting more this is how you do it this 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 film is a classic and if you're a civil war enthusiast like me i love it i i absolutely love it and you know i was watching this and i thought to myself i wonder if my friend ever had this movie or if he he had seen it he probably had because he'd seen every single solitary civil war film ever made because that's how obsessed he was I mean, it's not a bad thing. I'm obsessed too, but more so with World War II. But, <laughs> um, but I just, it 
kind of hit me sort of sad because I was thinking about him a lot and um you know I really don't know how his family's doing and I don't have any connection to his family right now because he's gone you know unfortunately he committed suicide so this is another one of those things I, I just wanted to kind of you know get out in the open as well um it's been a very challenging year for a lot of people for a myriad of reasons and it, i mean it's been good too but um i think i know why he he killed himself and i knew he was dead before my friend told me he was it was um right around christmas time where we would usually go and have some chinese food together and hang out but this is more of a psa um because i'm a survivor too i mean i i had ideations i i did cutting which i don't do anymore thank god but cutting is is one way that you ask for attention in the wrong way and try to relieve that tension and stress that's going on in your body but it's not a good way to um to deal with depression it just isn't <laughs> if you if you see someone somebody doing that um pro approach them and and talk talk to these people don't do not abandon them do not neglect them it may seem like you're being a little bit too invasive but this person is crying out for help trust me um i'm glad i didn't go through with um suicide um the times that i actually did try i mean i never went through with it because i was just i don't know but um beyond that uh i have to say if you um see somebody exhibiting the telltale signs just reach out to them because you will be glad that you did and i wish i had been able to reach out to my friend because i have a little bit of guilt about that but um it just it just made me think about him so like i said i i'm praying that the family's still well because i don't have any contact with them but other than that um that is about all i have to say about southersby so summersby not southerby summersby so until next time live long and prosper catch you on the side ciao kitty